Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodax.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. This time we'll take a look at a drawing subject in the Google Docs. In short, drawing in Google Docs lets you create inside document images with text boxes, shapes, lines, word art, upload and draw over uploaded images and arrange their layout which is just great if you need to graphically explain something, taking you just 5 minutes due to a tool simplicity. To start, you go into the Insert tab on the toolbar, putting your mouse on the drawing and selecting You. The new workspace will appear right away and this is your creative area. Starting off was the first item on the toolbar, the Actions menu. But here, we'll take a look at a word art feature, so press it. Now you see a text field where you type whatever you want. Using Shift plus Enter to add more lines, and then it's Enter button to finish. Don't worry, you can always change the text by double-clicking on it after. Now you can press hold on it and drag it where you want it to be. To scale it up, you press on either of these squares and move them till you reach the suitable position, and use this circle on top to rotate it. So when you select the item, the toolbar is updated with your regular text formatting features. The text fill color applied like this, text border color border weight or thickness, and border dash, which looks funny to me but can come in handy for you. Now the font, and if you scroll down, there's literally just a few fonts, so you press more fonts, and here you have what Google has to offer, which is hundreds, so you can easily get lost here. I choose any random one, press OK, and you see it's instantly applied. And what's left is the bold and italic formatics. Here you have undo and redo buttons and then zoom options where you select a better view, show ruler buttons and show guides button to make it more accurate and organized, which I use all the time, snap options and the full screen mode, turning off the toolbar. The mouse button to return to the selection mode and the lines insertion function. Here, your pointer turns into such a cross. You press hold on the chosen starting position and drag to where you want your line to end. By the way, you can always change it by selecting it and then dragging either ends to where you want them to be. Or you can delete it and create a new one. Then, you can change its color, line weight, line dash and add arrows on line start and end with these two buttons here, like this, and like this. Next up is the shapes insertion, among which we have more common shapes, arrows, callouts and equations. So, you browse till you find what you need. I'll go with the simple rectangle. Now, as your cursor turns into a cross, you press hold on the chosen starting position, go into the preview mode with these thin blue lines, and drag it till you find the best position. Then, you can change its color, rotate it, and move it. Now, what you saw with word art, you can apply the fill color to your shape, border thickness, border dash, and if you press twice on the figure, you will be able to type a text into it. Change its font, size and format it with standard tools. Also, align it and choose line and paragraph spacing. Then, if you want to create a new shape, it will be put over the first figure. Let me do that. If you want to change that, select the item, right mouse click, go to order and press either of these. Now it's under the first shape, but it also works in the opposite direction, which is order and bring to front. 
Then, it's a common text box creation button. Press it, click on the start point, drag to where you want it to end, and you'll get a transparent form for text inputting. Very similar to the shape creation, you can fill this form with a color, create and color the border, its weight and its dash. Then, it's a font selection, its size adjusting, common formatting functions. Bold, italic and underline, and then there is a text color. Align options and spacing options. Pressing on these three dots additional menu, you can create lists and adjust the indent. You can move the figure, rotate it, but you cannot change its size by default, as it is bound to text size. But you can press this button on the left to the text box and unlock that feature by pressing do not auto fit and do whatever you want with its size. Then, with a right mouse click, you can change its order on the page among other elements and center it. The last one is image insertion, which is performed by pressing this icon. And then uploading the image you want to appear in the document via just dragging it here from a computer or locating it manually and other options. Now you press save and close up here and the drawing is put where your mouse cursor was at the last time. Now it's acting like an image. You can adjust its size, select text wrapping, change its location and get back to editing it by pressing edit. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on the goodax.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.